Hello. So we've reviewed what the four statements are that public companies are required to furnish. We said we're going to take a corporate perspective and focus on the statement of retained earnings for our second statement. And really what I covered so far were um, was in topics 2.1 to 2.2, since I also gave you the definitions. So now we're going to move on to topic 2.3, which is preparing the financial statements. You know what they are. You know what's shown on each one from our previous videos. Now we're going to get into the actual format. Okay, so now we're going to actually get into the preparing of the financial statements. And we'll start with the income statement. So preparing the income statements. Now what you'll see for all of the financial statements we prepare, we start with a header, right? You can think of it as the header simply being communicating to the reader, which is the public, the who, the what, and the when. Okay, who in terms of the name of the company, what financial statement, and what is the time period, right? What are we looking at? So let's just put company for the who. We'd fill in the name. The what would be the statement. This will be the income statement. Income statement. And I'm showing you the proper format here. So if you have to prepare a financial statement in a homework assignment or a quiz or an exam, this will be the format you want to use for the period ended and then the last day of the period that's covered. So let's go ahead and assume it's a calendar year end. So we'll say December 31st, 2000 and whatever that specific year is. The header should be centered do, 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 over the statement. All right, and so that three line header we are going to find for each statement, right? Each one is going to have a header because that's an important part of this communication to the public. This is really all they get are these financial statements. It's not like they have the privilege to come into the company and say, hey, I want to see all of your books, all your financial records. No, they just get these four statements. And taking a business finance accounting class is not a prerequisite for being able to see it or view these statements or understand them. So we try to really keep a consistent format that's user-friendly and really lays out the essential items. We said the income statement are the items that determine income, which are revenue and expenses. Okay. You would list all of the different revenues and you would list all of the different expenses. You would list these amounts. Okay, so list amounts, list your dollar amounts in descending order. So your largest amount comes first. And your final figures, your final sums move out to the right hand column. Final figures. Okay, so these are kind of your, your guidelines. I, we're going to work through and actually see how to prepare a statement um, using some data that I will post for you guys. And then we'll calculate net income. Net income gets a dollar sign and a double underline when we're done solving for it. So go ahead and download the, um, the document that I've posted. It's for Kinney Company. And we will work through and prepare an income statement for them in the next video.